Uh, not just preparation. Um, things like second, third down. We knew they was going deep, double slots. Uh, 11 and 3 was the deep slot guy. And I was the middle third player, so I just did my job. Uh, the quarterback threw it anyway, the ball came. And I knew I had to attack him. Uh, I told a guy, I told a guy in the locker room that I go out real for every day. And as y'all see through real four years of being here, that boy can catch the ball 100, 180 degrees around him. So you gotta be able to attack the ball when it's in the air. And uh, it was a competitive play, but I attacked it. I just wanted it more. Describe the feeling of facing one of the best passing attacks in the country, statistic-wise, against a guy who's probably going to be a, maybe a first-round NFL pick, yeah. and the way you guys contained them, shut them down, and yeah. really had your way with them. Well, that's one thing Coach Sweeney really tries to back seven with, because as y'all know, the A&M game, uh, the back seven gave up a lot of passes, and other than that, we've been playing wing T teams. So this is going to be a real challenge for us, but we had two weeks to prepare. And uh, you can't really give Coach V, he a mad scientist to call a defense. He's that man, he's crazy about it. And you can't give him two weeks to prepare and two weeks for us to learn. And just for him, you better break it down so well, just coach us through the two weeks. Uh, which is a blessing. That, that's, how, that's how I was able to go out and play so well. Shailen, how well did you guys execute off the bye of what Coach V was trying to get your work on? And what's that going to do to carry you through the second half of the season? Say that again. What did you guys do to execute based on what Coach V was teaching you there and working on you? And uh, what's that going to do to help you in the second half? Uh, just a lot. Uh, just moving guys around, uh, attacking them. We knew, we knew that he was only sacked two times the whole season. And with the D-line that we got, that's unacceptable for the guys that we have. And uh, like I said, we knew it was going to be challenged on the back end. So we just had to play our guy, uh, play our leverage, and uh, just trust your teammate will do his job and he's going to be there for you. Do top 25 wins ever get old? Uh, absolutely not, especially with conference wins. Uh, they was talking all week and Coach Sweden was letting us know, like, yo, they saying this and that. and. And we knew for the past three years it's been tough games. I mean, my freshman year, when we went there, it was a tight game. I think it scored like in the 50s. My sophomore year, they missed the field goal. Last year, Kayvon had a pick. Ray Ray returned the uh, punt turn for a touchdown, so they've always been close. And they just felt like they just felt like they was on that same level with us. And we knew as a team we was better than that. And so we wanted to come out this weekend and prove like, where we was as a team. Gracias.